<clears throat> the economic aspect. Islam grants women equal rights to contract to enterprise to earn and possess independently. I could point something out here. All right, Islam married this widow, and she was a successful businesswoman. And that's before he started getting, started having conversations with Gabriel, the angel. I think it was Gabriel, right? Moroni was the other guy, right? <clears throat> A woman's life, her property, and her honor are as sacred as those of a man. If she commits any offense, her penalty is no less or more than of a man's in a similar case. <clears throat> I agree. If she is wronged or harmed, she gets due compensation equal to what a man in her position would get. Much like in secular society. Isn't that interesting? As a matter of fact, secular society is why these things start happening more. The more secular it gets, you know, the better. Islam has given women a share of inheritance. Before Islam, women were not only deprived of their share, but they but were themselves considered as property to be inherited by men. And yet and yet Muhammad married a businesswoman. Right? I mean, am I am I misinformed? Please let me know. Sounds like he stepped into a nice situation, you know. And good for him. You know, peace be on, on him and all that stuff. Out of that trans. Verbal property, Islam made an heir, acknowledging the inherent individuality of women. Even though they might be you know, walking around like in a penguin costume with a little slit for eyes. Fortunately, I'm an eye guy, so I'd be all right. I'd be like, ooh, all those are nice eyes. Whether a woman is a wife or mother, a sister or daughter, she receives a certain share of the deceased Ken's property, a share that depends on her degree of relationship to the deceased and the number of heirs. This share is hers and no one can take it away or disinherit her, even if the deceased wishes to deprive her of making a will to the other relations or in favor of any other cause, the law will not allow him to do so. Okay. Women are exempt from all financial liabilities. 
As a wife, a woman is entitled to demand her prospective husband a suitable dowry that will be her own. She is entitled to complete provision and total maintenance by the husband. She does not have to work or share with her husband the family expenses. Hmm. She is free to retain after marriage whatever she possessed before it. And the husband has no right to right whatsoever to any of her belongings. Well, that's pretty solid. I mean, nice to have some rights, you know. As a daughter or sister, she is entitled to... <laughs> pardon me. That was badly timed. <sighs> As a daughter or sister, she is entitled to security and provision by the father and brother, respectively. Wow. That is her privilege. If she wishes to work or be self-supporting and participate in handling the family responsibilities, she is quite free to do so, providing her uh, integrity and honor are safeguarded. It is thus clear that the status of women in Islam is very high. Islam has granted them rights that match beautifully with their duties. What Islam has established for women is that which suits their nature, gives them full security and protects them against disgraceful circumstances and uncertain channels of life. There does exist a gap between the right of women outlined in the Quran and the prevalent reality in the Muslim world. However, images of Muslim women as ignorant, oppressed, and submissive are stereo stereotypical. They do no justice to the large number of Muslim women whose conviction in Islamic concepts of family, cohesiveness, happiness, and individuality ensures their sense of self-fulfillment. Self and really, I mean, what's more awesome than being self-fulfilled? All right, and you know, get the, all the information there. I try to include all that. I just paste it right into every description section. So you can get in touch with these fine folks if you want to. All right, let me know if you learned anything. And if you have any ideas or suggestions, I mean, I got the pamphlet on terrorism and after that not really sure what i'll do next don't have to just read stuff but maybe i could react to a video or something you know if you have any ideas I'll, i definitely am reading all the comments i don't get a lot of them so i read all of them and even reply sometimes so Stay tuned, I'll do the terrorism one next.